Hey friends, welcome to Devotion here on another Sabbath Friday. Uh, I'm with, it's going to be Guess the Guest, so I'll invite you to guess the guest here in a few moments while I spend some time reading our devotion today, or our, our, our scripture. It's First Kings, and there's a whole lot there in chapter 18, so I'll let you read the first handful of verses and, and some of the last. But I'm going to start here, and we're going to read verse 30 through 37 today. Then Elijah said to all the people, come closer to me. And all the people came closer to him. First he repaired the altar of the Lord that had been thrown down. Elijah took twelve stones according to the number of the tribes of the sons of Jacob, to whom the word of the Lord came, saying, Israel shall be your name. With the stones he built an altar in the name of the Lord. Then he made a trench around the altar, large enough to contain two measures of seed. Next he put the wood in order cut the bull in pieces and laid it on the wood. He said, fill four jars with water and pour it on the burnt offering and on wood. Then he said, do it a second time. And they did it a second time. And again, he said, do it a third time. And they did it a third time. So the water ran all around the altar and filled the trench also with water. At the time of the offering the oblation, of the oblation, the prophet Elijah came near and said, O Lord God of Abraham, Isaac, and Israel, let it be known this day that you are God in Israel, that I am your servant, and that I have done all these things at your bidding. Answer me, O Lord, answer me, so that this people may know that you, O Lord, are God, and that you have turned their hearts back. And now, friends, if you have guessed it or not, please welcome our friend for today. Good morning to everyone. Of course, this is Ruth. And... I think most people will know me. I'll be happy to read today's. It's called Cur Course Correction. And this top scripture part was taken from 37. You, O oh Lord, are God and have turned the people's hearts back. I knew I was in trouble when my first grade teacher told me to stay after school. That afternoon, my grandmother had to wait a while while I wrote, I will not talk in class 10 times on the chalkboard. Though surely minor compared with episodes of Ahab and Elijah, it made a huge impression on me as a young child and led to a marked course correction. For the rest of my school career, I talked with friends only at recess and lunch. On a far greater scale, God used the prophet Elijah to call King Ahab and Israel from worshiping false gods. When fire consumed the drenched altar Elijah had erected to God and the stones, dust, and water besides, it made, shall we say, a huge impression on the children of God. When all the people saw it, they fell on their faces and said, the Lord indeed is God. Who has God used to help you make a course correction as a disciple of Jesus? Give God thanks for that person and that episode, even if it was un and unpleasant at the time. And our prayer for today is God. Thank you for loving me enough to provide course corrections. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. And of course, we also pray for law enforcement professionals. Any greetings you want to send to our friends out here gathering in devotion today? I greet you in the name of the Lord, and I want you all to be able to feel some measure of peace, which only God can give us. And he gives it so outrageously wonderfully. Thank Thanks you. be to God.